Today, we're going to talk about the symbiotic relationship called mutualism. Symbiosis is an interaction between two or more organisms of different species. If the interaction is helpful to both organisms, then it's a type of symbiosis called mutualism. Just like the relationship that you have with your teacher, you benefit by getting knowledge from your teacher and your teacher benefits by enjoying your super personality every day. But you're the same species. If you are different species, then we could almost call that relationship mutualism because you both benefit from the relationship. When both organisms have a helpful or beneficial relationship with each other, it is mutualism. Here are some examples. In round one, we have the bee and flowers. Bees get nectar from flowers for food and they carry the flower's pollen around to pollinate the flowers so that they can grow. They both benefit. The bees benefit and the flowers benefit. That's mutualism. Happy, happy. And coming up in round two, we have round two. The Oxford and the giraffe. The Oxford removes pests and parasites from the giraffe. So the Oxfords get food because they like eating pests and parasite, and the giraffe gets rid of annoying pests and parasites. The Oxford benefits and the giraffe benefits. That's mutualism. And now finally, round three, termites. Termites eat wood, right? So that's not a mutualistic relationship. Only the termites are benefiting there. But did you ever wonder how they do that? Termites have some protists and bacteria in their gut to help them digest the wood that they're eating so that they can use it for nutrients. That's where the symbiotic relationship is. The termites benefit because they can digest the wood. The protists and bacteria benefit because they get a safe and cozy home in the termites gut. Ugh. But hey, they like it there. And how about these examples? Here's an Oxford getting the pests and parasites off of an impala. They're both benefiting from that relationship. How about ants and aphids? Aphids make a substance called honeydew and the ants like it. In return, the ants take the aphids to the best stems and stalks to live on. Or how about the shrimp and the goby? The goby has way better eyesight than the shrimp does. The goby will keep watch and let the shrimp know when it can come out. And in return, the goby gets to live in the shrimp's burrow for a house. Those are all examples of symbiosis. And since both organisms were benefiting from the relationship, it's a form of symbiosis called mutualism. Mutualism means one organism benefits and the other organism benefits. I sure hope you and your brain benefited from this video. And I am super excited to see you next time. Gosh, seeing all these happy relationships makes me almost want to do a happy dance. Oh, I guess the music stopped. All right, then. See you later.